it's an artillery system with the transport built in. The first tanks had either a 7.7 millimeter machine gun or a 57 millimeter small cannon. By World War II, tanks like the Panther had rifled guns which fired 75 millimeter shells. Today's guns are nearly twice as big and much more powerful. Retired tank commander Dave Pride is an expert on the development of the tank's main gun. The evolution of tanks over the years since uh, they first rolled out in World War I, the guns have gotten bigger. We went through, you know, 75, 90, 105 millimeter. Now we're on the 120 millimeter. The bigger the gun, the bigger the shell, and the greater the destructive power. The gun is, uh, is awesomely lethal, and you don't have to be a soldier in the tank to understand its power. The Abrams main battle tanks can fire uh, in all weather, both day and night, especially on the move. On the Abrams, the gun alone weighs 2,500 pounds and is 17 feet long. It can fire a shell over six miles, as far as any other tank on the battlefield. But the secret of its power is the huge diameter of its barrel. At 120 millimeters, it takes shells that are longer and wider than other guns. Wider and longer shells have a larger propulsive charge and pack more high explosives. This means they travel faster and are more destructive. It's a deadly combination. The 120 millimeter gun fires shells further and hits deeper. But that advantage is not just down to size.